Listen up, all you audiophile peeps. I got a sweet pair of cans in my hands. Let's talk about it. Welcome to the Brannon No D channel, where I am your host, Brannon, and this is where we talk tech. This is installment number two on the list of three new products that I received from Edifier. Now, I just did the W830NB's Bluetooth headphones. If you'd like to check it out, I'll be sure to drop it at the end of this review. Today, we're covering Edifier's brand new, I mean, it just hit the market Wednesday, Thursday, something like that, that they're calling the Stax Spirit S5 Hi-Fi Hi-Res with LDAC Bluetooth headphones. Damn, that was one big mouthful, and for good reason, too. So yes, if you are that audiophile that I speak of, this video will definitely be for you. And if you're not, this video will still be for you because I'm fun and you look like you could use a smile right now. Let's dive in. All right, we're getting lots of goodies in the box. And speaking of the box, I usually don't talk too much about it unless it's worth talking about. And this happens to be one of those. Edifier definitely flexes when it comes to their packaging. Look at the detail. It's nicely done for sure. And like I said, we're getting a lot of goodies like this really detailed user manual and a nice paper envelope. We're also getting a USB-A to a USB-C charging cable and a three and a half braided auxiliary cable as well. And they also throw in a quarter inch male to a three and a half millimeter female stereo adapter and a guitar pick. I'm just kidding. It's actually used for switching out the ear cups, which by the way, they included an extra set, but uh, more on that in a little bit. And lastly, we get a clam style hard shell carrying case. It has a nice fabric material on the outside with the Stack Spirit copper print. Inside is a spray on foam coating. Now it has a nice soft removable divider. However, I would have liked to see a separate pouch for the cables. And then we have our Edifier Stax Spirit S5 Bluetooth headphones. First impression, I was like, damn, these feel really good. Nice and lightweight, yet not feeling cheap, if you know what I mean. There's just enough weight to give them that premium feel. Starting at the top, you get a metal plate with the Edifier name. On each side is where your adjustments are, still a part of the metal band. Yet a plastic under backing. Uh, should we be worried? Nah, I don't think so. It's got a little flex to it and it spreads out nicely for putting on and taking off. Speaking of plastic, you'll see a matte blackish gray finish on both sides as well as the U-shaped hinge. 
and also circling the ear cups. On each side, you're gonna get this leathery feel material with the Stax logo. They also surround the same material on the inner side where the sound vents are, here and here. Let's talk about Edifier's memory foam system. We get a nice, soft, cushy melon rest and plush, thick, beefy set of cans that are removable. Yeah, just pull. You're gonna be able to switch it out with their included lighter cooling gel meshed liner. And it is so simple to attach. Using these six plastic snap hooks, just line it up and press. When not in use, they have a really nice silk pouch to hold the ear pads. And yes, the thicker ones fit as well, if you were wondering. You can cinch it up with a drawstring that also bears the Stax logo. That, my friend, is attention to detail. I notice. All right, let's take a look at the right side. You have a silicone rubber volume rocker, high or low, and the power button in the middle. Under that is your dedicated Bluetooth button. Here is your USB-C charging port. Under that is an LED indicator, and lastly, a microphone here. Moving over to the left, we have the 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input. And I mentioned this on the W830NB headphones. No letter R or L print on the inside of the ear cups for identifying. No, actually you'll find them on the inside band here and here. And in case you were wondering, the headphones do swing out and fold in for stowing. Tell you what, since they're in the palms, let's go ahead and slap them on the melon. All right, for this show, we're going to remove the ball cap. Come on, guys, don't make fun. And yes, I do need a haircut, sorta. We're also gonna take off the glasses so I can show you a good idea of how they're going to set on your, oh. You know what, this is like slapping two big pillows on your ears. This is what they look like. Very light, like I said earlier, but yet that premium feel still is there. Wow, I could definitely wear these for hours. Obviously, you can wear glasses with these, sunglasses, regular glasses, hat, no hat, but before you put them on, you're gonna do it in this fashion, okay? First, put on the glasses. Then, put on the ball cap forwards, backwards, however you want. Make sure I didn't get the tag this time. Oof, that was the last video. There's a tag sticking out, an idiot. Then grab your headphones and slap them on. It's that simple. They don't squeeze your glasses. They don't squeeze your head. They're nice, okay? They're really, really nice. What do you say we get nerdy with me and go over the specs? It's very hot here in Michigan today, so I do apologize in advance for the air conditioning that you may or may not hear in the background. I want you to understand what you're actually getting when you see the Stax system that they're actually calling Stax Spirit. In 2012, Edifier took full ownership of Stax LTD, a company with over 80 years of history devoting to pursuing hi-fi and high-res audio reproductions. They say Stax has always been focused on the electrostatic headphone field, almost becoming synonymous with electrostatic headphones. Yeah, pretty nerdy stuff. But for the enthusiast or non-enthusiast audiophiles, I felt that you needed to familiarize yourself with the Stax system. You're welcome. The S5s have an upgraded planar magnetic driver. Yeah, they're claiming to have an equal mass diaphragm technology that ensures an even distribution of mass across the diaphragm surface, delivering constant driving force throughout. Mm, okay, I'll take their word for it. Now, are you familiar with the Snapdragon sound system? Equipped with the flagship Qualcomm QCC5181 chip, the S5s are supporting the Snapdragon sound, offering an unmatched Bluetooth headphone experience. Just listen to all the included HD codec support. Not only do we get the Qualcomm aptics, but we're getting adaptive, lossless, and HD as well. And if that wasn't enough, we're getting the LDAC, LHDC, AAC, and SPC. Wow. Uh, now for the bad news. Attention all iOS users, please make your way to the exit doors because this review is over for you. 
I'm just playing. Seriously though, the Snapdragon feature is only used for Android users. Don't feel left out. I'm also sporting the iPhone 15 Max Pro and it sounds absolutely amazing. Speaking of LDAC, the S5s support both high-res audio through USB and wireless through Bluetooth. How is that possible? Because they're coming with the new V5.4 Bluetooth. You're also getting multi-point connection, Google Fast Pairing, and an 89 millisecond end-to-end low-latency gaming mode. They're also saying, using their Qualcomm CVC technology, we get crystal clear calls. We'll run that through a mic test a little later on to find that out for ourselves. Now, what powers all this deliciousness? A lithium battery giving us 80 hours of playtime and a 10 minute fast charge that replenishes it for 11 hours on the fly. Yes, please. That's clutch. And finally, they're coming with the Edifier app called ConX. Let me show you. Assuming you've downloaded the app already, let's click on it, let it search for your headphones. Found it. Okay, let's check out settings. At the very top, you see the name, which you can, by the way, change. But I also wanted you to notice the firmware, okay? It would have prompted us if we needed to update it, but as you can see, I'm already updated. Under that, we have user manual, control settings, in here, we have the option to change up how our press and double press work. If you're in sound modes, you can pick between original, dynamic, monitor, or customized. But if you'll notice, you see that original is grayed out. That's because you can only operate three at a time. So you'll have to shut one off to pick another. Press once can also be used for single modes. There's gain, voice assistant, or ear pad switch. And you can also adjust double press with the same concept. Next, we have multi-point connection on or off. Prompt volume allows you to slide high or low. Power off. In here, we can turn the headset off completely, or we have the option of never, 10, 20, 30 minutes, one or one and a half hours. We'll stick with 10. We have our Bluetooth set up here, and lastly, factory settings. All right, let's go back to the home screen. Here we see Edifier Stack Spirit S5 name. Under that is our headphones icon, and lastly, our battery percent. Now, here's an interesting feature, ear pad setup. Depending on what ones you're wearing, whether it's the leather or the cooling gels, Edifier will recognize it to give you optimal listening. And I thought that was pretty sweet. All right, next we have sound effects. In here we get original, dynamic, monitor or customized. Bringing up customized gives us a four band EQ that we're able to slide however you want to get you those highs, mids and lows just right. I would have personally preferred a 10 band EQ. That's just me. Eh, at least we have one. Name it and save it. And lastly, game mode on or off. And that's it. Short and sweet, enough app for you to be able to get in there and mess around and just make it feel more like yours. All right, since they're on the melon, who's ready for a music test? Today's sponsor is provided by Artlist. Not only does Artlist have over 18,000 song titles to choose from, they're also adding professional sound effects every day. Need some stock footage? ArtGrid has you covered with stunning HD and 4K video formats. Take advantage of three different plans or max it all. Make Artlist and ArtGrid your all-in-one arsenal. If you're like me and love mu- What the hell am I saying? Of course you love music. You're here, aren't you? Then you need to check out Artlist. I'll have all the details down in my description below where you can get started and be sure to get yourself two free months on top of the one year subscription using my link. You're welcome. The song I chose is called Just So You Know by Matthew Magenta. Ready? Here we go. Wow, that's detailed. Ooh. You make me feel like I'm losing control. I've never been so high. Oh, the voice is so clear. All right, getting a little build up. Okay. 
Okay, these are definitely a lot cooler. Not as hot. I like it. These sound good too. Wow, okay. All right, that's all I need to hear. Okay, let me start out by saying, if you're a bass head, these are not for you. If you're an average Joe or Jane, these are also not for you. The Edifier Stax Spirit S5 are for the audio files. And I said this in the very beginning of this video, and I'm still saying it now. The sounds, and I do mean sounds with an S, are incredible. And I don't even have an Android system either. I'm using an iOS, remember? So I know what to expect from a pair of hi-fi, high-res, premium set of cans. The highs are crisp. The mids were all around me, making me feel immersed. And the lows are superb. Not too deep, mind you, but not too shallow either. For the ones picking up a pair of these, you know who you are. Let's go ahead and throw them back on the melon and do ourselves that mic test I promised you earlier. All right, this is how it would sound if we didn't have anything really loud going on in the background. How do I sound? Does it sound nice and clear? It should. Let's go ahead and throw in an ambient coffee shop background noise. This is more like it. Can you hear what I'm saying? It is definitely loud in the background, but is it cutting out enough for you to hear me clearly? I won't know until I'm in post. I'll be right back. All right, I have been in post. Fast forward, and I'm gonna say if you're working out with these or if you're wearing them in the studio and you receive a phone call, they're gonna be able to hear you just fine. All right, what's left? Oh, pros and cons. Pro number one, I absolutely love the packaging and box. I'm just kidding. Pro number one actually goes to the build quality, the style, and a soundstage that you're getting out of these. Another pro is all the accessories that they have included in the box. Your three and a half millimeter auxiliary cable, quarter inch stereo jack, extra set of ear pads, and a nice case to store it all in. And not to mention all the Kodaks listed on these things. It's insane. However, before you go and jump down there and grab yourself a pair, let me run down a few cons that I have. Con number one, although they have a nice case, it's just a simple case at the end of the day. No mesh pocket or even a divider to hold your cables and attachments. Con number two, although they're boasting about their new design on the headset adjustment, I'm really not a fan. Look how loose it is. The simplest little shake drops these like a bad habit. I just wish it was a little tighter. And lastly, the price may shock you. Some of you, not me, because I know what a good pair of studio cans will run you. Now remember, I am not sponsored or endorsed through Edifier. They have sent me a ton of products to review. All they've ever asked is for me to be honest. So yeah, it's pretty easy. I'll be providing you my Amazon affiliate link down in my description below. Retailing for $499.99. Oh I'm gonna give you a minute. Let it sink in. I know. Okay, had enough? Relax, you're not gonna pay that price. Tap on the redeem button, get yourself 20% shaving off an additional $100, now making the Edifier Stax Spirit S5s $399.99. So, under $400. Best I got. And save all the comments about how you would never pay that price for a pair of headphones. I mean, Bose and Sony's don't even cost that, right? I already told you earlier, if you've got those thoughts, these are not for you. If you know, you know. How about a fortune cookie? What is the fortune today? Find out. Move these out of the way. Nope. What is the special word? Oof. Man, I'm getting a lot of vegetables and fruits. This one is a fruit today. Apple. I do love apples, especially with peanut butter. Mm. Don't be surprised by the emergence of undercovered talents. What the hell does that mean? Well, 
Again, you guys are lucky. I can't eat this. I'm still fasting. It's only 12 o'clock on a Saturday. I probably will get this out on Sunday. I do most of my filming on Saturdays and edit it on Sundays. Yeah, that's the dedication I have for you guys. So not going to eat it. And obviously, if you've stuck with me this long in the review, you're either family or crazy. Could be a little something wrong with you. But you know, we never judge here at this table. Not now, not ever. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe on your way out that door if you are not already. And boys and girls, I have so many products coming your way. You're not going to want to miss it. I'll see you then.